Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to Catch Treasure Hunting. We are at the Sanctuary Thrift Store. It's been a couple months since I've been here. This is one of my favorites. I always tend to find a lot of good stuff, so I'm super excited to go in and shop with you. Let's go. So this thrift store is pretty big and they have a really really good variety this one I would say probably has the most um collectibles and soon as I walk in the door here look at this beautiful Vince Camuto shawl it is polyester but it's really big and super fluffy and soft and I think that I have to get that one it's very nice I am paying up for it but I think I can get like 30 35 dollars for that one and this is kind of like their boutique rack here. They have a Harley Davidson fleece jacket. This one's pretty plain and they want $20 for it. It's probably only worth about $30. So the most I would want to pay for that one's about $8. So we are going to leave that one behind. And we will see what else we see in here. Definitely always look at the jacket sweatshirts because there can be some money in there but here a lot of them are marked up so it's going to take pretty decent pieces for me to be willing to pay up like that last one was a calvin klein those don't really sell for very much we'll see if we see any more on here this is a hawk this is a riding jacket they've got it at 30 i didn't comp those out but i do feel like that's a little bit more then I would be willing to pay. If you know different, definitely let me know. It was a nice Columbia fleece. The Playboy sweatshirt I thought about getting. It's five on a Gildan tag, but I did decide to leave that one. Typically, I want to see a branded tag, and I don't think the Gildan would do great. Here is a Disney. This is a 2014 zip up. And they have got it priced at $15. And I did comp that one. It actually only sells for about $15 on eBay. So that one is definitely a no-go because you would lose money if you pick that up. So be, be careful with Disney stuff. Uh, some of it you might think will sell for high, but that is not necessarily always the case. We'll see if we see anything else in here. All right, check this out. So I couldn't find the price on this. I did end up asking them and they wanted like 150. This is a professional karaoke machine. Unfortunately, this model number does not have any comps so without comps i am not willing to pay 150 dollars for something i'm looking at all of this wicker because wicker sells but i have to make some room if i want to do furniture you can see they have household improvement stuff these glass bowls are pretty cool these are different i'm not sure who makes them though so they apparently expanded all of this used to be their storeroom and now it is a shop so this shop is actually twice as big as it was the last time i was there i asked them when they did it and they said like six months so i didn't realize it had been that long since i had been there but it is absolutely massive so the shopping trip is gonna be a little while grab a drink <laughs> we're, we're gonna be in here for a bit it's a really cool candle holder but i think they had it at four i think that one's probably worth about 15. look at all of these linens this is like linen heaven in this room and we are gonna look through those linens and see what we can find now this little jewelry box i thought about getting they have as is it is missing one of the feet they have it at 10 
and I actually found this exact one and it sells for around 45 but with that leg missing I decided to leave it all right let's look at some afghans and some linens and they've got quite a few here that are hand crocheted they always had quite a bit of linen but now that they've expanded it there is a lot more than what there used to be here's a little throw quilt they had that one at seven but i'm not sure how much that one would go for and i love love tapestry blankets and throws this one's five not sure about the pattern on that one so i think i'm gonna leave that one as well as that tapestry tons and tons of blankets if you need blankets now this one with the southwestern style is woven that one is five i think i am going to grab that one i think i should be able to get at least 35 for that one and this one looks like a vintage wool one but i don't see a tag so i think we're gonna leave that one as well and this one's got a ton of fraying on it now this one with the pinks and purples is really pretty i think they had it at like 15 or 10 though and unfortunately those don't sell for very much it kind of sucks as much work as goes into them all right there's little collectibles shelf here this is this one looks really cool but beware most of these are mass produced this one is for sale for 10 and that is about all it will sell for on ebay so make sure you look those up some of those are worth a lot but it is very very few and far between look at it looks like pillows exploded here there were pillows everywhere let's take a look and see if we can find any towels i found some really cool vintage towels at this thrift store before but i don't see any that are really catching my eye today now here i think this is more like baby blankets and linens on this one so we'll see this is actually pretty cool it is a hand crocheted mermaid tail that one i did not pick up tell me if you think i should have got that one so many linens look at all of them in those shelves straight ahead i didn't really look through those very much the folded ones most of these are just plain like flat sheets there are some pillowcases here as well these were three that pattern's kind of muted though so those i did decide to leave behind and i wasn't sure if they were pillowcases or what and these are some curtains i don't pick up very many curtains sometimes i will pick up vintage and i don't think my cart is going to fit in here with these pillows so we're going to leave the cart and we're going to go in do you see it pillows exploded there are just so many of them. We're going to look in here and see what we can find. And you guys know I absolutely love pillows. And I pull one and they like all collapse. So we're going to attempt to put them back up. I think that has happened to other people. And that is why the floor is massively. Look at this. This is a vintage needlepoint. Look at those tassels. This one's five, but I think it is definitely worth paying up for. This lady's like, all of these pillows. <laughs> she said she was here the other day and there were not this many. She said she wasn't sure where all of these pillows came from. Look at this one. Beautiful embroidery. This one's six, but I think that it is worth it. I think it's worth about 35 to 40. Beautiful, beautiful pattern on this one let's see if we see any more and you kind of have to take a step back that's what i'm doing to see now look at this this is a beautiful eyelet lace pillow cover 
And I actually think inside of that is a feather down vintage pillow that might be worth more than the case. So this one's $4 for both the pillow and the case. So we're going to put these in the buggy and we're going to go back and see if we see any more. The buggy is filling up pretty fast. Let's see what we see here. Now up top, I see a pair of matching pillows here. They're almost like a sweater material. And these are Berkshire Blankets and Home. And for $3, I think these are a good pickup. I'm paying six for the set. I think the set should go around $40 or more. Let's see if we see any more. Not sure what this was. I think somebody tried to make an outdoor pillow, but it doesn't look like they did a very good job. We're going to put these Berkshire pillows down in the bottom here. And we'll look one more time to see if we see anything on the kid's rack. Let's see. When there's so much stuff, if you have time, I recommend looking over stuff two to three times because it's really hard to kind of take everything in all at once. I think though that maybe this is about it. However, we're going to look close and make sure we're not missing anything. Let's look all the way down to the end here. This one's nice, but it wasn't branded. Now I see this cute little pillow down here, but that one again also was not a marked one. However, what is this? Look at this crocheted pillow. It's got an S and little owls and a rainbow. This is a hand crocheted pillow that is so darn adorable and for three dollars I think we definitely have to grab this one all right let's move on to the collectibles look at this glass lamp three hundred and fifty dollars I do not know much about lamps tell me if that was a good price or not I do not know now here's another plate, but this, and it's a really awesome plate. If I like collector plates, I would get it. It says St. Patrick's Day, but another one that is mass produced and probably only worth about $15 and they had it at 10. So back here is kind of tight with the cart as well. So we'll see how much we can get through and if you see something I should have got, let me know. That I think was maybe for cat treats or something. I'm going to try to go with my cart. I don't, I don't know if I'll succeed here. We might have to reverse. Bunch of knickknacks and collectibles here, but what I'm seeing is a lot of mass produced stuff. And we'll look on these shelves. Lots of green glass here, and you guys can let me know. I don't know much about that. There was a lot of it. I think they had them at 2 or $3 a piece, and this is a Portugal baking dish. That one I'm going to leave. Probably would have thought about that if it was a set. I have those bowls at home. That's why I picked them up. Let's see. And there is tons of stuff here. They've got these like paper plate holders four for 20 they honestly they look really well made i tried to find them though and i couldn't so i just can't pay 20 without being able to find a comp on those now we will take a look at the pots and pans and i know sometimes the whoa there was an extra top on there sometimes these pressure cookers are good this one has a lot of wear and they had it at $25 though, but look at what I just found. In the back, 
Le Creuset, if you do not know, is money. They've got it at 12 but I think there is still room for profit on that one. All right, now we are at the coffee cups and tumblers, which sometimes can be my weakness. I'm trying to get better. And we'll see if we see anything here. Nothing is really catching my eye. There's just so, so much in here. There was a lot in this store before they expanded it. I was looking at those little kind of travertine tiles, but the pattern is kind of plain on those. Little peacock ashtray, studio pottery little tray, but that's another one. Not overly interesting pattern, so I will leave that one. Now, these were made in Taiwan. Those, the set of three was five, and I don't think much room for profit on that one. I was hoping I would find some more Le Creuset, but not so far. These are little ashtrays they've got them, or coasters. They've got them at three, four, five dollars, and I think that's they're probably worth about 15 but I try and buy at 10 to 20% of what I think something will sell for. Now, down here, I see a plate that is interesting, but I have to dig for it. So I'm going to set these up top. And this was kind of in the middle here. And this one is very, very detailed. And I actually looked it up. This one's only three, but I think it will sell for about $45 so we are going to get this one lots of little trinkets in here that one was made in China it's a cute little it's almost like a cloisonne reproduction I love this glass pillar candle holder it's a party light it says as is I don't see any chips but I'm sure there are some, otherwise they probably would not write as is, so we will leave that one. And again, and you'll see it in all my videos, I turn stuff over, I'm looking for marks. These are actually little FSU bowls. They had the set of four at 10, so those were priced a little bit higher than what I would wanna pay. And it's not football season, so that stuff I look for a little more when it is football season. Lots of appliances. All right, this is a candle room, and we're going to look in here. I keep wanting to find a glassy baby. I've never found one, so I always make sure I look in the candle sections for glassy babies because those bad boys are worth a lot of money. If you do not know them, definitely look them up. And I am not seeing anything here. This is a really pretty kind of glass votive holder for a dollar, but nothing overly spectacular. So that one we will leave. This one I think is Yankee Candle. They've got it at three, which isn't too bad, but it's probably worth about 15 to 20. And I don't really want to ship breakable for that. And those are actually a really thin glass. I'm not sure. I think that's all fabric, but nothing really caught my eye. There's just so, so much to look at in this store and to go through. And you can see my buggy is overflowing. Now here are school supplies. Here I'm looking for vintage trapper keepers, Lisa Frank stuff, some art supplies, pencils, paints, things like that. If they look like they're well made, I will look those up as well. And then this was a little pet section there. All of this is the addition that we are in right now, which is absolutely crazy. A little glass bunny. But I think that one's just another mass produced one. Let's see. 
if we see anything else here. And there are tons of vases down here, so we're going to look at the vases. They always have a ton of vases, and I have never found a good vase here. But I'm not giving up. But look at this. Beautiful recycled glass divided dish. This one is really, really pretty. And I think it's, it's going to sell for around $30, $35. So I'm going to grab that one. My guinea pigs are going crazy. If you hear the squealing, my daughter is cleaning their cages. So if you heard some scrubbing earlier, that's what that was. And now they are going crazy because they think they need food all the time. So, like I said, they've always had a lot of vases here, but I have not found any that were worth picking up. This one has a chip, and that's just a teleflora, so that one we're going to skip, and we'll see if we see any more. This one's neat, but that one's actually flash-coated. It's not green glass. So that one I'm going to put back. All right. Let's move on. Or we'll try to move on. I think they're going to let me out so they can go in. It's very tight quarters here. And now we're going to see if we see any purses. I have found some good purses here in the past. I'm trying to still learn where everything is because everything has moved since I was last there. There's an Oscar de la Renta tote, but I don't think uh, it was $8 and I don't think it'll sell for much over 20 This is a really nice Vera Bradley, but it was customized and that would lessen the value. So that one we will leave. And this is a cute Ohio State bag, but they've got it at $10, which I think is a little more than I want to pay. It's actually a custom made one. It's really, really cute. So if I was in Ohio staying a state fan that might be something I would grab but I am not and for resale that is just a little too much and you can see I left my card again it's just so narrow getting through all these little spaces Rosetti is a brand that's like at pennies typically does not sell very well all right we're in the clothes look at this vintage Woolrich sweater six dollars Great, great find on that one. Look at all of these clothes. So their clothes are a dollar unless they are marked. And we will see if we can find any. Look at this, $8 for a hat. Most of their hats are 2 to $3, so I'm not sure why that one was priced at 8 But that's okay. Let's see what we see in these shirts. Hopefully we can find some good dollar ones. And they used to only have about a quarter of the space for clothes that they do in this new back section. This is another added section. I like this polo, but there was a spot. And it is 70% silk, which sucks. But that spot, I had to leave it. Some gloves. These have the original tag. But I think they had them at like $3, no, $4, which is a little more than I want to pay. They'd probably sell for about $15 or so. I typically pick up my gloves in online estate auction lots. And we're going to take a look at the shoes. I have found some good shoes at this store before. And typically their shoes are pretty well priced. So we'll take a look. And they have really expanded the shoe section as well. It's really, really weird for me because this whole store setup is completely different than the last time I was there. So it, you have kind of a rhythm and a way you go and I'm having to make a new rhythm. It'll probably take me a few times of going. These look really, really nice. They're Finn Comfort. They have them at 10 but they're only a size five and a half. So if those were a little bit bigger, I might have picked those up. We're going to see if we see anything else here. There's some Nike there. I see some Adidas. Nothing that's really standing out to me, though. 
as far as the patterns and the colors i'm not sure these have vibram soles they have them at six but i'm not sure i couldn't read the brand on these if you know what these are and i should have got them definitely let me know so i will know for next time i was trying to look at them a little closer but i could not make out the name not sure but i know vibram soles can be expensive or maybe they were new balance actually they looked like new balance but i'm not sure if that model was a good pickup here's some nike flip-flops but they have them at 10. those are probably only worth about 15 to 20 dollars so you really have to be disciplined when you're picking stuff up because you might find good stuff but if it costs too much for you to make a good profit, then you have to just leave it. That's the hard part. Is finding good stuff, but there not being enough room for profit. And I will still, I still pick up stuff and pay a little too much. Like that Vince Camuto at the beginning, I think I paid a little more than I probably should have for that one. Look at this wicker, all this wicker. And they've also got dinner sets over here. Don't forget to check. Like this is their furniture section. These are Farm Fresh. Not familiar with that brand. That's a really cute little pattern though. And the Easter stuff is everywhere. Easter, Easter, Easter. This one was really cute. But look, it's completely broke off there on the top. Look at the little quails. They are so cute. The quails make me think of my friend Charlene. My friend Charlene and I used to raise quail. This is just a pottery orb. It's kind of cool for two bucks, but I left it. These are tile trivets, but those patterns I don't think would sell well. I typically will pick up Southwestern patterns. Look at this bowl. I love this bowl. It is so cool. But look, it has got a big crack. I'm so sad because I really love this bowl. But it's got, look at that, a crack almost through half of it. So I'm going to leave it. So again, checking in the furniture section for collectibles that they've decorated with. Don't forget that when you're at your thrift stores because you might find some stuff that is really good in those sections. All right. I think we're going to go back to the clothes and see if we can find anything else good. I try to not go when it's super crowded, so I was trying to wait for some people to be done. All right. Richmond Strikers Nike t-shirts for a dollar. I left them because the sell-through rate is not great. Now, this is a Nike Golf Indian Wells Golf Club polo. Those I have been able to sell, but the Richmond Strikers doesn't look like are very popular. However, so I left the t-shirts, but this is Richmond Strikers soccer Nike polo. And I think I'm going to get the Nike polo and it is only a dollar. I did leave the t-shirts though because the sell-through rate wasn't great. But I think the polo somebody still might get because it's a Nike polo. Check out how vintage is this. This is a vintage Golden Comfort Sears shirt. How retro is this thing? So it's $4, but I think that is going to be a good pickup. Very, very retro look on this one look at the little geckos on the guatemala t-shirt i absolutely love this so for a dollar we are definitely going to grab this one as well i have done very well with souvenir t-shirts and we'll see what else we see look at how cute this was hanging up top ain't afraid of no putty tat florida I think this is actually a vintage tank top on a Fruit of the Loom tag. It was $3, so we're going to grab that one. And let's see if we see anything else. Do you see all of these clothes? So all of them are a dollar, unless they are marked. 
Let's see if we see anything else up top. I don't typically do a ton with uh, pants and shorts. More the shirts, typically. There was a Nickelodeon sweatshirt here. I did not get this one. It was $3. I'm kind of regretting that. I'm thinking I probably should have got that sweatshirt. Let me know if you would have picked that up for three. And I know you can't see much because it's like way high. And the power just went out in the store. That is why it went black. I will be back. Okay, the power was only off for a couple minutes. <laughs> Everybody froze where they were. This is a Miami Dolphins vintage NFL AFC shirt. That one I'm going to grab. I don't think that one was priced, so I think that one was a dollar one. Let's see if we see any more. And again, the men's shirts I tend to look through a lot more. I don't look through women's much. This is a Toucan Brewing Company XL. The graphics on this are cute. And it says two cans are better than one. Really, really cute shirt. So that uh, different brewing companies I've done well with the shirts. This one has got great graphics on it. It says Bass Fishing Rules. Plus it's a Homosassa State Park shirt. And I do well with the souvenirs. And this one actually has an all over print. It has it on the back as well. So that one's a great one. That one was not marked. So that's another dollar one. We'll see if we see any more. All right. I think that might be it for the shirt. Here's a hat. This has got a few marks on it. I don't see a price on this one, but it's a small. And with those marks, I think I'm going to pass on that one. Look at all the bathing suits. There's a cute cover up. I left this one. They had it at three. I kind of think I should have got it. It was a really cute little flip-flop cover-up it's easy to second guess yourself when you watch yourself back shopping and what you did and did not get all right let's go ahead and move on all right we are in the lingerie section and at nightgowns and things like that. Let's see what we see. Look here. $2. These are Victoria's Secret sleep pants, size large. Really, really cute little sleep pants. And they're Victoria's Secret. So we're going to get those. Let's see if we see anything else in the sleepwear section. Look at this. This is Anthony Richards. Great pattern on this. It is a house coat or robe and the seltzer rate is actually pretty good on those and that one was not priced so it was only a dollar now these are lady Lindsay. they want five dollars for these i looked them up and there's not a ton listed or sold so i did they're definitely vintage i did decide to leave those behind though Be kind or be quiet. Simply Southern shirt. $4. Uh, Simply Southern used will go for about 15 to 20 I decided to leave that one. All right. We're going to dig through some bras, my friends. Look at this. A dollar and less marked. Victoria's Secret. Look here. Another Victoria's Secret. I'm going to see what else we can see. I'm going to dig through these bras and I will show you which bras I pull out at the end. Look at this Moo Moo. This one was unbranded and handmade. It had pockets. I didn't get it. I think it's really cute though. I probably should have got that. Let's see if we see anything else. 
Here's another Victoria's Secret sleep shirt, but that one they had at $6. And I think that one's probably only worth about $15. So we're going to leave some Victoria's Secret. We took some. We took the pants for $2, but I don't think I want to pay $6 for the shirt. Some Tampa Bay Buccaneer sleep pants, but they have them at 4 Probably worth about $15 to $20, so we are going to leave those. Winnie the Pooh. Look at this Panthers jacket. This one's 15. I think I'm going to leave it. It's worth about 30, 35. I'm going to pass though. Here's some more bras. Tommy Hilfiger. There are going to be some I grabbed that you don't see. And again, I will show you them at the end. The ones that I did pick. Now we are looking at wigs. And I know some of you have told me that the wigs sell well. So this one's 75. I did look up some of these and some of these do sell for hundreds of dollars. This is an Ellen Wiley. That one they had at a hundred dollars, but I just don't know enough about wigs to pay a hundred dollars for a wig. So I think these I'm going to leave. Here's another one. This one was at $10. I'm trying to, to get to the middle to see if I can find a name, but I don't see a name on this wig. So I think I'm going to leave it. It looked nice. It was a red hair wig, but we're going to, we're going to leave it. This box was empty. All right. Here's some more wigs. This one's a Raquel Welch and this one I think it's only three dollars here's a Paula Young that's four these are more my price range to try and sell wigs for the first time so I made sure it was a Paula Young in the Paula Young box and for four dollars I am okay with that I will try the wigs for four dollars that was just like a little ponytail thing let's see what else so there's some wigs on the bottom. This one's TWC. I was trying to see if I saw any Raquel Welch. There's another Paula Young. I knew nothing about these wigs. But I'm trying to learn. So I will do some research and hopefully be able to help you guys learn some good brands. That one I think was just an Amazon wig. Dropping it. We're going to put it back. All right. I got a ton of stuff. I spent $106. And there's a lot I want that I have to come back for on half off day. So I set a reminder on my phone because I always forget. And it's some stuff that could definitely make some money picked up some wigs i haven't sold them but a few of you told me they sell well so we're gonna try those they had some more but they were priced higher so i might wait till half off day to try those and we'll see how these do first and yeah let's take a look again at everything i got all right so here is the beginning i got this nike golf polo indian wells golf club this one was only a dollar nike richmond strikers was also only a dollar it was not marked look at this beautiful recycled glass divided tray this says ain't afraid of no putty tat florida it is a tank top these are victoria's secret sleep pants i got this vintage woolrich sweater for six dollars these bras i got some good ones so this is victoria's secret this one is soma brand all of these were a dollar this one is a really nice made Izod Victorious Sport. A dollar each, guys. Look at this Tommy Hilfiger. Super cute with the little sailboats. And then both of these are also... That one was Victoria's Secret. This one is Fredericks of Hollywood. So a dollar each on those bras. Some great finds. This one is really cool. It's Geckos. It's a Guatemala shirt. It's medium. These look like they sell very well. Anthony Richards house coat. Really cool print there. I bought three wigs. We're going to try some wigs. I got Paula Young and two Raquel Welch. 
Wigs look like they sell well. One of you commented on my video that you sell them good. We're going to try them. I love this two cans brewing. It says two cans are better than one. Bass fishing, Homosassa State Park, Miami Dolphins NFL shirt. I also got this vintage Sears. Look how retro that shirt is. This beautiful Vince Camuto. This is a really big shawl. And look at this cute crochet pillow with the S. Hand crocheted. Love that for $3. Uh, woven throw blanket. I got two Berkshire throw pillows. I will sell those as a set. This plate, I paid three. It is Maria Morena, and I believe it should go for about 45. I paid 12 for this Le Creuset. That one should be a good one. This is, I think, my favorite thing. Look at this vintage needlepoint pillow with the tassels. Absolutely amazing, as well as this pillow. Great, great pillows. This lace. This, I think, has a vintage down pillow in it, so I might separate the two. So, pretty good haul. If you're interested in anything, let me know at the nurseflipper at yahoo.com, and I will see you on the next one.